engine just reminds me so much of my favorite thing in the world, which is Warbirds, mechanically favorite thing. I love old Warbirds, and this thing sounds just like one of those old fighter planes. When it flies over, I just love it. miles and overall wow wow what a cool car the sound is incredible the power the torque with the v10 and it, it's so light as you can tell I'm pretty excited uh, I'll get out of the screen here and we'll just walk around it it's dirty I mean I don't get very many chances to run the cars in the middle of February so I'm going to have to do a major wipe down on it when we get inside. You can see the, the dust from the road. back in the shop and while I was driving I noticed a few things a couple of the gauges weren't quite functioning they move a little bit but not quite right and we have modified these original gauges extensively I figured out what was going on a couple of the needles were pushed in too far so they were touching the custom gauge faces that we made so I had to get them right in their happy spot so that all the needles now operate smoothly there when you shut the key off everything zeroes out right where it's supposed to be and so everything is dead on now so what's left uh next up i'm going to make the door panels and then it's just getting miles on as much as i can with the minnesota winter um, luckily today was gorgeous out the roads have been clear for a couple of weeks and that allowed me to get the car out um, without you know, the road chemicals uh, affecting the aluminum body. I know everybody's gonna ask, well, don't you seal the aluminum body? I do, I found a really good product. This isn't an ad, I'm not even gonna say the name of it, but I did find a really good product that seals the aluminum and helps that uh, shine to last for uh, quite a long time. So we'll get the door panels made, get it polished, get it sealed, and then it might be uh, time to say goodbye to it. Thanks for tuning in guys and watch for more updates.